Attorney Laura Anthony, founding partner of Legal and Compliance, a full service corporate securities and business transactions law firm. Today is the continuation in a LawCast series talking about Form 8K. Any company that is subject to the reporting requirements of the Securities Exchange Act of 1934 must file periodic reports on Form 8K. I have been going through the events that trigger such 8K filing requirement. Section 5 relates to corporate governance and management. Item 5.01 reports changes in control of the company. Control includes changes in the board of directors, officers, or control shareholders. Item 5.02 reports departures of directors or certain executive officers, the election of directors, the appointment of certain officers, and compensatory arrangements of certain officers. This item includes any and all changes in the delineated executive officers or any directors, whether by resignation, termination, refusal to stand for re-election, or completion of a change of control transaction. Item 5.03 reports amendments to the Articles of Incorporation or Bylaws and changes in fiscal year end. When completing a corporate action that is processed by FINRA, this item filing requirement is triggered when the amended articles are filed with the state, regardless of the timing of FINRA's review and processing of the changes with the marketplace. Companies often issue a press release with or without a second 8K when FINRA has completed processing the reported change. A restatement of the articles that does not make any material changes does not require a Form 8K filing, such as where a company is combining multiple amendments for ease of reference or cleaning up otherwise ambiguous language. Item 5.04 reports the temporary suspension of trading under the company's employee benefits plan. This item filing requirement is triggered by the receipt of a notice under the Employment Retirement Income Security Act of 1974, or ERISA. Item 5.05 reports amendments to the company's Code of Ethics, or waivers of a provision of the Code of Ethics. In addition to filing a Form 8K, the company must carry through the change to the documents posted on its website. Item 5.06 reports a change in shell company status. An item 5.06 filing is usually accompanied by an item 2.02 disclosure and triggers the filing of Form 10 information, including audited financial statements. The Form 10 information and financial statements must be included in the 8K and filed within four days of the event triggering the change in, cell, in shell status. An item 5.06 8K is often referred to as a super 8K. Item 5.07 reports submissions of matters to a vote of security holders. This item requires the reporting of voting results and is thus a retrospective report of a vote as opposed to a prospective notice of a matter to be submitted for vote. Item 5.07 also requires the disclosure of say on pay votes and the frequency of say on pay votes. Item 5.08 reports shareholder director nominations. This item requires a company to inform shareholders of the date in which they must submit director nominations on Schedule 14N. I'm securities attorney Laura Anthony, founding partner of Legal and Compliance and producer of LawCast. Should you have any questions about today's topic, please visit securitieslawblog.com and lawcast.com or contact me directly. Inquiries of a technical nature are always encouraged.